Hello and welcome to Thai. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about how to find the delay bucket in the process. It's the real world case in solutions in Power BI. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. So for example, in a company if there is a requirement for any job, the team leader will identify the need and then it will go for a manager approval next it will go for HR approval and then once everything is done it will update it in the job portal so the recruitment team will need to analyze where the delay causes to recruit a person if there is a delay in manager approval or in HR approval or in a job posted area so in this example there are four openings are there one is accountant, one is software engineer, one is software tester and the team lead. If you look at the summary on the bottom, right bottom, for accountant it has taken 11 days to get approval to get job posted on the portal. For software engineer 3 days, for software tester 4 days, the team leader uh, it has taken 2 days. If you look at on the top days taken for each position in this chart, for accountant the manager approval has taken four days and for HR approval has taken three days and for job posted it has taken four days. This is just an example scenario. Not only that, say for example in the manufacturing industry, if you want to analyze the delays in between the process. Say for example we have a process like assembly and then welding and then assembly again. For each and every process we will have an separate time and we need to complete the process at that time itself. If you have not achieved the target, we will be on the backlog and we need to find the reason for the delays as well. The same logic will apply for the manufacturing industry as well. So let's have a look at the table structure. For that we need to go to home and then transform data. So this is the table structure. In this we have position software engineer and there are stages and the sequence of these stages and the date which it gets approved. So only these are the four columns available. To get the final output we need to work on something in Power Query Editor as well. For that we need to start the index column starting from 1 and another index column starting from 0. I have made a video about index columns in Power BI. If you haven't seen that just click on the link given on top of your screen. And then the next thing is we need to use the merge option here. It is available on the home, merge queries and then merge queries as new. I have made a video about the merge queries as well. If you haven't seen that just click on the link given on top of your screen. If you click this one, what I have done is I have selected the same table, table 1. One is the index 0 and for the another one is index 1. Click OK. Once it is done, this will load the data of the first table and for the second table, what are the columns we need, we need to select it from this option. So I have selected two columns. I have made a video about how to get the previous row data as well. It also applies the same logic here. If you haven't seen that, just click on the link given on the top of your screen. Now coming back to this one, so I got this information that is manager approval, the second stage and here the first stage is being identified, it has approved on this date. So I got the previous row data here for each and every transaction. Now let's go into the file and that I have created the axe measure that is the day difference. If you look at this DAX measure, I have written as if match sequence is greater than 1, then I need the date difference of approved on minus approved on the match query in terms of days, or else it returns 0. Because the need identified is the first stage, so it doesn't have any difference just on the approval process. Whereas the rest of the approval process, the manager approval, HR approval, and job posted will have a date difference. On looking at this, example scenarios in most of the cases 
job posted has made a lot of delays in terms of uh, posting the job on the portal and the next is the manager approval in HR has taken 6 6 days on an average so these are you can able to get the data of the delay bucket taken for each and every process I have just given a two examples like the recruitment process and the manufacturing industry process as well you can apply the same logic for any kind of process I hope you got a brief idea about how you can able to find the delay bucket in the process if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notification share it to your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video